Hi, welcome back everyone. We've got a nice night in progress. Got rid of all the precipitation. Mist finally came to an end for us. We still have cloudy skies across much of the area. This is a live look from our sky live weather camera at the Garland Shelton dealership. From I-35 West, we still contend with a lot of cloud cover, but from the interstate back to the east through East Texas and into Louisiana, skies already begin to clear out. Nobody reporting any rain on the Doppler net, so we're going to go with a slow cooling and clearing forecast for tonight. 42 should be our overnight low with winds lie out of the northeast around five miles an hour. Tomorrow will continue with a five mile an hour wind, but the winds are going to shift back around to the south and southeast, so that's going to allow things to warm up a little bit, a little more moisture in place. We'll go 64 for an afternoon high with fair skies on your Friday afternoon. Friday night looks like it'll be a good one as well for high school football. Depending on where you are, you can anticipate temperatures in the 50s with partly cloudy skies. Our pick game of the week is Mart at Bosky Bell. Saturday is what everybody's talking about is the Veterans Day Parade. Many of the observations for Veterans Day will be going on this weekend. Mix of sun and clouds on Saturday at parade start time, 11 o'clock, 62 degrees is what we're anticipating. Those winds will be out of the south and southeast around oh, 10 to 15 miles an hour, much of the day on Saturday. Copper's Cove, your high temperature today made it up to 50. Our thanks to Michael Parsons for checking in with us. And Hewitt Kirk Krakowian saw 52 degrees. And as we swing back over to the east, we've been talking about the other side of I-45 in Peeler Switch. Frank Gordon reporting a high temperature of 57 this afternoon at his home. Now, cloudy skies and 50 degrees, 47 to dew point, 89% relative humidity and a calm wind. So I'm thinking that there is going to be fog around the area. Right now, we're looking at good visibility. Temperature of 50 in Waco, 51 in Temple, 50 in Colleen, 46 already in Mahia. This is visibility. Fog being developed along I-45 and then back along I-35 at the Y around Hillsboro. Down Highway 6 towards Hearn, we've got zero visibility already. So as I said, be mindful that you're going to run into some at least patches of light fog in the morning, if not heavier fog tomorrow. By afternoon, we're hoping for some sunshine and temperatures making their way up into the 60s in most cases. Maybe a shower or two down the lower Grand Valley, and that's about it. Here's your Channel 6 seven-day forecast where your weekend's always in view. High school football, Friday night lights, looks like it's going to be good. A little on the cool side. We'll top out at 64 tomorrow afternoon. Back down to 49 on Saturday morning. It looks like it's going to be a great day for all of the Veterans Day observations, including the parade. I'll be riding with the Sheriff's Posse uh, in the parade on Saturday morning. Hope to see you there. We'll have a lot of Channel 6 folks in attendance. We've got another front coming in Saturday night, Sunday. That could give us a splash of rain on Sunday. The rest of the week looks like it's going to straighten up and be very autumn-like and very nice. We'll enjoy that. Good. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Andy. Appreciate it. it.